idea that I've had for some time. I was kind of itching to get back into Grooveland, and uh, so I was talking to Eric Harland about it. We've been working together for many years, and uh, he recommended calling James Francis, who I was not familiar with. And it just immediately worked. And there's such a strong connection between him and Eric, too. They've known each other a long time. I mean, they're sort of a different generation, but, but you hear the Houston in there. They're both Houston guys, and they're just joined at the hip. So it was easy for me to just fall in there and groove. I called Lindley Mart. He's someone that had been on my radar for a little while. I'd, I'd heard him at kind of an African jam session, and he sounded so great. And then Eric has been talking about him recently, too, and was sort of saying how much he enjoyed playing with him. So now the four of us are all going to play together. seems like the kind of thing where we could have written music, not, it could be super arranged, it could be not arranged. Everything just kind of works. And that's something you can't really plan out, is what the chemistry is going to be like. You can imagine everything in your head, you can write a bunch of stuff, but once you actually start playing, that's when you see where it's really at. you start writing it but I but I felt like okay something kind of simple and to the point and about the groove and nothing extra so we can go from there to play music that people would like, something that would bring an audience in, using the sounds and influences around them. So that's exactly what this is too. You know, it's just that the influences around us include hip hop and electronica and, and all kinds of stuff that wasn't happening at the beginning of the history of the music. But for me, the, the important thing about the history of the music is the inclusiveness and the ability to change. That's the thing that keeps it alive. Thank you. 